also this weekend we've got uh my favorite ufc fighter returns to the octagon crack uh conor mcgregor is fighting on fight island uh it's an incredible card i know you don't always watch all the fights but i would assume you're gonna watch conor mcgregor make his uh his uh 2021 debut right i'm not paying for it so i mean if 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 i get to watch it somewhere for free or something i'm just not i'm not into uh I don't know. I, I, I'm, the, I'm not the big Conor McGregor fan you are. I, 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 I'm big on the, how someone is off the field as, as well as they are on the field. And I really don't know if he's not, if he's a bad guy off the field. Yeah. I've, seen him do some, I've seen him do some charity commercials. I like to see that. But uh, that could just be a publicist in his ear to make his image look a little better. This guy's throwing chairs at buses and stuff. He just, I don't know. Yeah. It's just, I hear you. I'm glad you brought that up because I, I'm a, obviously I'm a super fan. Uh, I'm going to send you a link to an interview that he did uh, a couple days ago. And uh, if you're, if you're sitting on a, on a plane or you got to, I don't know, you don't, I know you don't have much downtime, but if you get 20, I think it's like 20 minutes long, you should watch this interview because he acknowledges all of that stuff. And, you know, I think it's one of those things when, when you become a multimillionaire uh, and you, and you, you get too much too young. We've seen it happen with baseball players, basketball players, football players, right? They, these, these guys come out of college, they become instant millionaires. And in Connor's case, you know, he went from welfare to four years later after being on welfare, oh, wow. he was a UFC champion. And then after becoming a UFC champion, he went up a weight class and got that belt at 155. He was the 145 champ. Then he was the 155 champ at the same time. First time that's ever happened in UFC history to be the champ in two different weight classes uh, simultaneously. And then he went and did that fight against Floyd Mayweather and he made a hundred million dollars before the age of 30. He was only like 27 years old, 28 years old. Um, you know, you might just lose yourself a little bit in that. Yeah. And, and I think he acknowledges, at least in this interview, he kind of acknowledges that. And he sounds like old, humble Connor. Connor's appeal to me was humble out of the cage and a little arrogant in the cage, uh, you know, kind of like, in a, like a, a world-class sprinter or an NFL wide receiver. They have to have that little swagger. To, 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 to get to that peak level, you know? And, um, but then Connor kind of became uh, that guy in the cage, out of the cage and kind of lost some of his fans. But I think now he's back to, to old Connor. I think you should give him a shot. That's my, cool. that's the moral right. of my story. But yeah, right. I'm, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm going to give out just so I'm on the record. I think McGregor gets it done round one. That's the prop bet I'm going to take on the okay, fight cool. island. Uh, it's like three to one. He's three to one favorite, right? Yeah, yeah, he's he's uh minus three uh three hundred right as of right okay, now. Yeah. Did you yeah. bet the first? Did you bet McGregor by first round? I bet I'm I'm gonna, I didn't yet, but I'm gonna bet McGregor by first round uh, uh, after I do a uh, little much, line much better, shopping. Much better odds than laying three to one. That'll be yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 